So now if we move to the ceiling, you have many boxes you need to install on the ceiling for different purposes. Whether you're mounting light fixtures, you're going to mount uh, smoke detectors for fire alarm, electrical uh, you know, receptacles in the ceiling, you're going to need a solution for that. So we have here is the ceiling box supports. So this ceiling box support is very easy to use and it's uh, to two feet, which is the standard size of a drop ceiling. It clips in place, also allowing you the ability of mounting the box very easily anywhere along that two feet. So how does it work? Is that you would number one, attach this to the grid of the ceiling and you would line up your box. And you'll notice here we have a screw. This is a quarter 20 screw which you would remove from the bracket itself, mount your box, and then install it from the inside of the box to the bracket. So this particular bracket for the ceiling is good for up to 20 pounds with static installations, such as a light fixture. Uh, it could be a smoke detector. It could be just a receptacle. Um, would not be used for fans. So maximum 20 pounds on this. If you have a need for a greater weight, we have a solution for that. The bracket that you have here, this bracket here is made for a drop ceiling as well. It is, as you notice, a little bit more robust. It's a lot stronger. This can hold up to 50 pounds. So 50 pounds, and it also, just like the other bracket, is easy to use. You have here the, the bracket that comes with this um, ceiling support would go through the center of your box in the knockout right into the bracket. So once again, it allows you the ability to land the box anywhere along the bracket as needed and it's quick and easy. So the solution here for your ceiling is you have two different weight rated um, you know, uh, choices, a 20 pound or you have the 50 pound. All right, so we're going to review a, a box support for a ceiling, for a drop ceiling. This is a two-foot drop ceiling bar. So when you look at it um, and you're going to install, it could be a lighting fixture, maybe a smoke detector, whatever your needs may be, this would be a uh, solution for you to install a box in a drop ceiling. So a couple of features that I'll show you on here before I go ahead and do the install is uh, how you would support your box. This clip here in the middle would be uh, lined up with a half inch knockout inside of your square box, octagon box, and you would go ahead and secure it from the inside of your box using this quarter 20 screw that's supplied with the bar. Then when you line it up and you put it onto the T-grid, you're going to um, simply use these clips and slide it over the T-track. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you now, put it into the ceiling. So as we slide it up here, we're gonna go ahead and line it up so that we have the clip right on the edge of the T-grid and you just push down. One of the nice features of that is you don't need any tools, right? There's no additional tools needed to install that. So we would secure it on one side here, making sure it's sitting all the way down. And then we'd go to the opposite side. Line up your clip on the T-grid, making sure that once you have it lined up, you push straight down and you'll hear it lock in. Now you have a tight and secure box support now it's time to line up your clip here along the bar. So anywhere within this two foot uh, length of bar, you can uh, move your support for your box and choose your octagon box or square box and install it using the supplied quarter 20 screw. Remember, this box support is good for 20 pounds. So this here is a uh, box support for a two foot grid. Um, a couple of key features about this particular box support is that it can handle up to 50 pounds. So 50 pounds of uh, uh, electrical installation um, to be supported on here. You can notice that the, the, the framework of this is pretty solid and robust. So a couple of other things that I'd like to talk about is putting the box onto the bar itself. It is a quick and easy installation and I'll highlight that today as I put this into the ceiling grid. You'll have the clips on the end of this ceiling uh, box support, which will line up with the T-grid. At that point, I would just push it in, locking it in place onto the T-grid. Once we have that, we then have to go to the other side to secure the other end. So we line it up onto the T-grid, 
and we're gonna simply press down, locking it in place. Now that we've finished installing the last clip, we're gonna go ahead and walk through the installation of the box. So I wanna first un uh, highlight the clip in which you will use to secure the box to the bracket. So you'll notice here, there's no lock nuts. It's a very, no screws. So it's uh, really limited on tools of what's needed to get it installed. So let me show you, I'm gonna grab the square box that I'm using for the demonstration today. And I'm gonna remove the knockout. As we remember, this knockout is half inch in size. So I'll just use my linesman's. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to install the box using the clip that came with your box um, support. Here's your clip. It's gonna go straight through the center of your knockout. So you'll notice there's the, the flange here. That is gonna stay on the inside of your box. So we'll press it in. You heard that click, right? That's me locking it into place with the uh, half inch knockout. Once you have your clip installed into your box, it's now time to take it up to the ceiling box support. Now, once again, you're on a two foot ceiling grid, so you can mount this box anywhere along the two feet. So once you bring this up to the, uh, the bar itself, you're gonna insert the clip straight in and then just turn it 90 degrees to secure it in place. And now you have a box installed that easy that is rated for 50 pounds. For more information about Topaz products, please visit our website.